to talk about CQU shell, in short, we call SSH. After watching this video, you will come to know about three things. What is SSH? Why do we need SSH? And how to set up SSH? Now, before I'm going to start, let me come up with this definition. SSH is a network protocol which will help us to communicate between two computers securely. Let's just understand this matter very well from this example here. So let's just say you have your computer here and this is GitHub's computer. Now you want to send some data to GitHub's computer and again you want to receive some data from GitHub's computer. So now you want to make this communication secure. Here SSH is going to make this communication secure. So if you set up SSH, you will get two things in your computer. You will get a public key and also a private key. This public key you will add to the GitHub's computer in the GitHub setting. Of course, this is something I'm going to show you very quickly. So when you are sending the data to the GitHub's account, basically your private key helps to encrypt the data before sending to the GitHub account. And what does the GitHub does? It use your public key that you have already used here and decrypt the data that you send here. So that's how SSH key basically works. Now, again, why do you need SSH key? Of course, I think you got the idea. It helps us to create the secure communication, which means basically increase the security, which is the main reason of this SSH key. After you have set up the SSH key, you can authenticate with GitHub without having to enter your username and password each time when you push some data to the GitHub repository or GitHub computer. Now, let's just set up the SSH key. So here I have opened my terminal already. You can open your terminal or command prompt, and then you have to type this command here. I'm going to copy and paste. You can just type this command. And here, instead of this email address, you have to type your own email address, definitely. So I'm going to type my email address here. So just give me a moment. I'm going to type it very soon. There you go. And it's done. And then you have to press enter here. Just wait. And then it says enter file in which to save the key. So where you want to store the key, you can give the file name here. Now I'm going to press enter to accept the default file location and name of the key pair. So I'm pressing enter. And then you can see here, it says something already exists. I'm going to override that. But for you, there will be nothing if you are setting up for the first time by using this process. So I'm going to say, yes, I'm going to override. And it's basically going to ask you for enter a passphrase here, which will help us to make this uh, more secure. It's going to bring an extra layer to make the key pair more secure. So I'm going to type something, let's say, uh, my name here, Anisul, and then I have to type that same thing again here. So Anisul again. Great. Now you can see that my public key is created. I hope your public key is also created. And this is basically saved in a file with a .pub extension in a default file location that we have used. Now I can copy the content of that public key file by typing this command called cat. And I'm going to try this one, the tilde symbol maybe, and then slash dot ssh slash id and then i'm going to use this underscore then ed25519 dot pub that was the name of the file where my public key is stored and if i uh, press enter now you'll see it has returned the key that i'm looking for which is this one so i need this ssh key and i will add this ssh key to my github account so let's just do that. I'm going to copy it from here and then I'm going to go to my GitHub accounts. First, I need to log in. Definitely. You can see I'm already logged in. So if you have not logged in, please do that. And then uh, go to the setting from here. What I'll try to do, I will go to the SSH and GPG keys. And then I'm going to add the new SSH key here. I'm going to paste it then you can name it anything. Let's say I'm going to say here personal computer and I'm going to add the SSH key here. That we have set up our SSH key, we can communicate with GitHub more securely. And I want to show you how to communicate with GitHub through SSH key. Now, this is one of my GitHub repository that I want to fetch in my computer. So there are a lot of data here, of course, you can see. 
Now, there are a few ways I can clone or copy this entire repository or copy the entire data that you can see here inside this folder called Java Tutorial Code. Now, I could use HTTPS, but we have already set up SSH, which is more secure. You can see it here. Use a password protected SSH key. I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to open my terminal. So here is my terminal and I'm going to go to a folder. It can be anything. I'm going to my documents folder. Let me try typing the right one here. And then now I can clone the repository with this SSH key. I'm going to say git clone here. And then of course I can paste that SSH uh, link here. And now if I press enter for the first time for you, maybe it's going to ask for the passphrase. It's asking for me as well. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to type the passphrase that I have used to, you know, secure the uh, keys here. And now if I press enter, it's going to decrypt all the data that I had in this repository. So I hope you got the idea of SSH key. How does it help and the entire process of SSH key?